Yo, 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 Ziggy here. We'll bring you episode two of My Guns. This is the Moose Nagant. I got this for my birthday from my brother. And here's the matching bayonet. And yeah, let's talk a little bit about the Moose Nagant now. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it, but this is the model 9130, which was the standard issue to all Soviet infantry from 1930 to 1945. And if you look at the timestamp, let's see if I can get this stamp on this thing. The stamp is 1931, right there, 1931, and if you notice also it's a hex receiver, so in 1935, 1936 they changed it to a cylinder receiver because the uh, Moose and the Gun wanted to, you know, use primarily as a sniper rifle and there was a scope that they put on there and the bolt, you know. It was a little bit hard to put, you know, with the scopes they load and stuff like that. Change it to a cylinder receiver, and then now it's a, and so the hexes were a little bit, you know, less common. So collectors would, look, you know, want the hex receiver. But yeah, it's a, it's a I mean, it's a sweet gun. All right, so as you can see right there, all right there, it's the M9130, which is the model number 7.62 caliber. Um, right here let's take a look at the bullets for you guys so let's talk a little bit about the cartridge so this is the 762 by 54R and this is what the Moose and the Gants use and this was made in 1891 whenever they first made the Moose and the Gun. and this cartridge still remains one of the longest service life of military issue cartridges in the world the Russians actually still use it not only for Moose and the Gants, but they also use it currently on modern guns like the PKM, which is a machine gun, and they also use it on the Dragunov, so for, for their sniper rifles. And just to compare the size, you know, I brought the AR-15s bullet here. And this is a 2.23, and that's the Smith and Wesson 40s right there. The m and 40 uses that, and there's a little 22. So just to kind of do a little size comparison on you know when just how big these rounds are. Do we have the bayonet here? And if you notice, you know the Whenever you buy these guns now, you know, when you go to a gun store, they have, you know, a bunch of the serial numbers to match the bayonet. And my brother was able to find the bayonet that matched the gun, actually, because a lot of people probably just grab the bayonets in a bin. And so, yeah, they labeled it right there, 78725, 78725. So, got the matching bayonet. So, it fits pretty good. So there's a moose in the gun with the bayonet on. And I don't have any TVs to stab, or I would do that right now. So the sights of the moose and the gun, you know, they're located here in meters. And it's a flat rear sight. Um, you know, if you have loft, you know, so say it was 10 meters away, you'll be able to... Let's see, what do I want to aim at? Uh, let's go hunt. Let's go hunting. What we got there? Uh-oh, we got some big game over here. You peed on my shirt, didn't you? No, I'm, just, I'm not going to shoot my cat. It's not loaded, but... <laughs> right in the middle. Boom! Yeah, this is the Moose and the Gun. Hope you enjoy this video. My name is Ziggy Saint. Peace. I'm out of here.